Hey, welcome back guys, JC here. Sorry for the mess, I was just about to start recording uh, a, another Auk210 build video, but then I thought, oh wait, crap, I'm switching ESCs, so let me do a video on these real quick before I put them on. For the past few months, I have been using the Super Racer B 30 amp ESCs, and I have nothing bad to say about them. They're great ESCs. Uh, haven't had a single problem with them. Great, great ESC. The only reason I'm switching to these or I can't say switching to these, the reason I'm using these for this build is because 95% of the parts for this build came, it all came from ready-made RC. So for me to have to uh, order more of these Super Racer B ESCs, I would have had to go to a different website. And, you know, that's another order, that's more shipping, and, you know, it's just a headache. So I figured, hey, I noticed these on ready-made RC, they're 30 amps, also, they also have the BB2 chipset, so the specs look nearly identical. And not only that, but they're on sale right now. I don't want to uh, say how much they cost, I'm just going to leave you a link to these because the price could change if you're watching this in the future, so just look in that link and see how much they cost right now. But yeah, that's why I'm using these ESCs for this build, because uh, now 100% of the parts came from one website instead of me having to make you know three, four, or five orders from five different websites. I am also going to show you where the signal capacitor is to be able to use these with D-Shot, um, but let's go over some general specs real quick. This is the ZTW Flash 30 amp ESC. It says it's, uh, well they are BLHeli S and says it's D-Shot, it just says D-Shot, but uh, you do have to do that one modification that we're going to talk about in a second. They can accept a 2 to 4S LiPo. and. They have a 40 amp 10 second burst current. Like I already mentioned before, they do have the BB2 chipset. When you purchase these, it comes with comes in a bag like this that I've already torn apart. You get some type of warranty card, some directions, which you really don't need this. I'm about to explain everything for you. With each ESC, you get a little bit of heat shrink and a decal. And that's pretty much it. On the ESC itself, it comes with 18 gauge uh, positive and ground wires, as well as your servo lead. It's very long, I might add. So I don't use servo leads, but if I did, I would really like this because I hate when they give you like the super short ones, and it's not long enough, and then you have to like buy more. So then you got you just ask yourself why? Why would you even do that? What's what's the point? Looks like they have a fair amount of capacitors on it, which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. The more capacitors you have, the higher risk you have of them breaking off, unless you uh, protect them well, which I use mounting tape. It's like double-sided foam tape, and I put two strips on each side, bottom and top. I, I did a separate video talking about that. Also like that they use this larger 12-volt voltage regulator, and uh, the location of this 3.3-volt regulator. I don't know about you guys, but I do all my own repairs. I repair my own ESCs, flight controllers, cameras, video transmitters. If you can repair it, I repair it. It saves me so much money. And um, so if you are someone that does your own repairs, then this type of voltage regulator is the easiest to replace and the fastest. They're also really easy to find online. You can find them on eBay. Now for D-Shot, how to use these with D-Shot. Uh, well, first, I made a separate video on this. I'm just going to give you the quick rundown. I'm going to make your life super simple. Just look in the description below. You will find my BL Heli playlist, and in that playlist, you'll find a video on how to upgrade the firmware of your ESCs. These ESCs come with BL Heli version 16.0. For D-Shot, you need 16.5 and higher. Technically, it's 16.43 or 42. Um, doesn't matter, the newest version out right now is like 16.6 .6 or 16.7. So just use the newest version of firmware and that firmware is going to be D-Shot ready. The other thing you have to do is remove the signal capacitor. I have a separate video on this, it is quite long and lengthy, but I've already done the work for you. So I'm going to flash a picture on your screen. Um, the very tiny little yellow rectangle, uh, that is the signal capacitor. And if you look in the second picture, which you should be seeing now, that is with that capacitor removed. And that's all you have to do hardware-wise. 
and uh, software wise you just upgrade the firmware and that's it your EAC is now D-Shot ready just take some clippers like this or wire cutters you can even use tweezers sometimes and I just very carefully clip it off actually I'll do it right here in front of you just so you can see how easy it is see this one did, actually didn't even clip off it just crushed but that's fine you're just breaking that circuit yeah that's it done it's that fast so yeah just to reiterate upgrade your firmware to the new, newest version of BL Heli firmware remove that signal capacitor and then the final step is in uh, beta flight firmware the beta flight GUI you know configurator make sure you have DSHOT selected I believe I haven't tested these yet but I am pretty sure these are DSHOT 600 capable because they use the BB2 F16 chipset so I would go ahead and try DSHOT 600 actually once I start flying this I'll uh, if you guys remind me I'll give you an update in the comment box letting you know which one to choose but I'm pretty sure 99% sure it's going to be DSHOT 600 and that does it for this video guys uh, like I said the very next video will be my second Octu 10 frame build using these ESCs obviously so uh, if you have any questions leave for me in the comment box thanks for watching and I will see you again soon